genetically modified bacteria break down plastic in salt water. A group of scientists have managed to transfer the ability to break down plastic from one bacterium to another. In this way, a modified microorganism was created that can decompose polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, a material widely used in the production of many items, including water bottles and clothing. We realize that getting rid of the now ubiquitous plastic is in our best interest. The world of science is working intensively on methods to help with this. And the results of this work are beginning to be visible. The solution to the problem may be a genetically modified bacterium that can decompose polyethylene terephthalate, i.e. PET. One of the most commonly used plastics. The description and results of the research were published in the AICHE journal. Particularly problematic are the huge amounts of plastic that have accumulated in the oceans over the years. The leader here is, of course, PET, which can be found in almost everything. From plastic bottles to clothing. It is also the main source of microplastics floating in water. The question is, what could we do to reduce these massive ocean dumps? The extraction and storage of waste itself would be problematic for various reasons. It would be best to be able to reuse this plastic in some way. However, to do this, we would first have to disassemble it. And this is exactly the direction in which scientists' research has recently gone. When looking for the performer of their plans, they turned their attention to bacteria. Idionella sacchariensis are particularly important here because they are able to produce an enzyme that breaks down PET. However, their actions should be somehow strengthened so that they can complete the tasks assigned to them faster. Therefore, it would be best to radically increase the number of these bacteria. Here, another species of bacteria comes to the rescue. Vibrio natrigans. These bacteria are known for the fact that, firstly, they multiply extremely quickly. And secondly, which is particularly important in this case, they live in salty water. Scientists therefore decided to combine the powers to obtain a kind of plastic killer. They took DNA material from Idionella sacchariensis and then placed it in the plasmid of the second bacterium. Plasmids are a convenient DNA carrier here because they are able to replicate in the cell regardless of its chromosome. Therefore, a plasmid with the DNA of another can be placed in the cell of one bacterium so that it starts carrying out the instructions contained in it. In this way, Vibrio natrigans began to produce on the surface of its cells an enzyme characteristic of Idionella sacchariensis. The final effect was then checked in combat conditions and it turned out that these bacteria had gained the ability to decompose PET at room temperature and at the same time in salt water. In this way, the first microorganism capable of doing so in such conditions was created. This is particularly important because the need to remove significant amounts of salt from the plastic surface would significantly increase both the time consumption and cost of a potential alternative process. However, before the superbug can start breaking down plastic on an industrial scale, three more steps will need to be completed. First, we would like to incorporate Idionella sacchariensis DNA directly into the Vibrio natrigans genome, which would make the production of plastic degrading enzymes a more stable feature of the modified organisms. Second, we need to further modify Vibrio natrigans so that the bacterium is able to feed on the byproducts produced during the breakdown of PET. Finally, we need to modify Vibrio natrigans to produce the desired end product from PET, such as a molecule that is a useful raw material for the chemical industry, said Nathan Crook, one of the authors of the paper.